Hey y'all, I'm back with another video. If you want to know how I got this blue icy winter look, then stay tuned. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my Kiss eyeshadow primer stick. And it's pretty much pure white. Ain't no color to it. And it's going to help my eyeshadows just to appear more pigmented than what they are. And you know, for them to adhere better to my lids than they would if I would have just went right in without putting any type of primer. So I'm going to just continue to blend it out with my finger. Now I'm gonna go in my BH Cosmetics palette, and it's like a, it was like a, I don't know, what do you wanna call it? Like a burnt orange color. Like I said, these colors don't have no names since, so I pretty much have to describe them to y'all as I go. So bear with me. So this was like a burnt orange color. Um, you know, I'm gonna just use that on my crease, cause I'm doing a cut crease, so I'm gonna use this as my transition shade. You know, just blend it all out, so nothing's all, nothing's harsh. We don't want no harsh lines, y'all, so. This is going to help us out a lot. It's going to continue to blend, blend, blend. Then I'm going to go in with a lighter shade from that BH Cosmetics palette. And it was like a, like a beige color. And I'm going to put that where the remainder of that um, primer was on my lid at the bottom. And I'm going to blend it up towards the transition shade. Just to have like a more seamless look. And a more neutral look. And then, as y'all can see, y'all did not get to see me do the cut crease because my phone stopped recording. But I will be doing videos on how I do them in the future. Just bear with me. So, yeah. I'm going to be putting on a silver shade, like a silver gray shade. It clearly looks like I'm not doing anything because that shade was that light. Which is okay, I guess. We could just say I'm setting the... the we could just say I'm setting it. I'm setting the, the cut crease. So we're going to just exclude the fact that this was even a shade <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna add that all over the cut crease now i'm gonna go back into the bh cosmetics palette and this is where the fun part comes in and it was like a teal blue whatever you want to call it It was really light and i'm gonna go in with a fluffy brush because i don't want it to be that harsh right now so i'm gonna go in with the fluffy brush and i'm gonna put it on the only on the outer corner for this look i'm not putting any color towards the inner corner and that's gonna be for something else the outside is where all, you know, their attention is going to be. Now I'm going to go back into my BH Cosmetics palette with a more tapered, dense brush into an even darker teal. And that's what I'm going to use to really brighten this look up and, you know, to give it more of a bold effect towards that crease. So then I'm going to, you know, do my outer V with that color. And bring it out and bring it in you know only to only to like the middle of the lid I don't want this to go all the way over like I said just the ends are gonna be colorful and yeah continue to blend now I'm gonna go in with my NYX glitter adhesive and put that all over where the um, primer was so it's gonna give us like an ombre effect so now I'm gonna go in with my NYX glitter and this is just a silver glitter and pop that all over my lid well not all over you know what I mean only where the glitter glue is I don't want any glitter on the blue part only you know in the front towards the middle and that's it like I said I'm like an ombre cut crease <laughs> so yeah y'all didn't get to see me put on my lashes or do my eyeliner because I just feel like it takes so long and I be messing up a lot when I do lashes now y'all y'all ain't got time to be seeing me mess up <laughs> so yeah i will get better with these i promise and yeah i'm gonna go in with my wet and wild primer just rub it all in and now i'm gonna go on my maybelline fit me foundation and i actually have to mix it with a estee lauder foundation just because throughout the year my skin be changing so much my color be changing so much so i have so many foundations that match me that don't match me so i'll be having to do a bunch of mixing and matching y'all so now I'm going to go in with my beauty sponge and I'm going to blend out everything. Get under those eyes, girl. Just blend it all out. Make sure I get that neck. Um, get that forehead. And get in between them brows. And yeah. Then I'm going to go in with some LA Girl Concealer. And put that underneath my eyes. 
cover up the bags, girl. Because you looking tired today. So, yes. Then I'm going to do my nose, my forehead, my chin. Oh, yes. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, y'all. Y'all want to continue to see me, you know, dishing out these videos. You know, make sure y'all subscribe. Hit that bell so y'all can get every notification as soon as I upload. And make sure you're not missing out. You know, join the family, y'all. Join the team. <laughs> so I'm going to continue to blend out that um, concealer underneath my eyes. Get it real close to my eyeliner. Then I'm going to go in with my setting powder, the Airspun setting powder. And set everywhere I put the concealer. And now I'm going to go in with my Ofra blush. And it's like a really dark color. That's why I use that a contour, not a blush. But yeah, I get that forehead. Because, you know, as I can see, I got a pretty big forehead. And it's going to help, you know, bring it in a little bit. Bring it down. Tone it down. Because it be, it be popping. Now... <laughs> I'm going to blend everything that I just put down on my face together. I feel like this makes it look so much more flawless than doing your setting powder and then blending it out by itself and then doing your contour. This makes it look so much more seamless and just like you have like an airbrushed finish when you do it like this. So yeah, I'm going to just continue to blend. Yes, girl, get that side. And yeah, I didn't realize how long I was blending. I forgot, I guess I forgot to crop this part a little bit. But yeah. Blend, 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 blend. Make sure everything is flawless. I'm making faces and all. <laughs> so yeah, then after I blend, I'm gonna go in my makeup revolution highlighter. Get them cheekbones, get that nose, keep this bow. I'm gonna set it with my tart setting spray. And then I'm going to go into my lips with the Katy Perry Blue Lipstick. I know you can't really see that good because my mirror. And then I'm going to go in with the Make It Revolution Lipstick. It's like a nude. Just to tone that blue down a little bit because it was doing too much. <laughs> and this was the finished look. Thank y'all so much for watching. Bye.